by a huge wing to M2. Ski box on the top. Supercars are lined up on the street. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Beamer Frame. You guys join us out here at the Shell gas station. We have a nice group of M cars starting off today's video pretty strong. We got my F82 M4 just fueled up with some gas. We also have a nice Sakir Orange F80 M3 with nice gold BBS wheels. It's got the hood, it's got the carbon lips, roll cage on the interior as well. Looks really nice. It's nice seeing this car paired with Kevin's M4 GTS. Pretty OEM spec on the car. I think he just lowered it a bit, added a few little extra carbon bits. This is mostly a stock car. Roll cage in the back as well. You've got that spoiler up. Nice diffuser as well. And we also have an M8 Competition Coupe. This is gray on white interior. Looks really nice. Has the Vorsteiner kit as well, including the wheels. Wow, beautiful car. Okay, so we're heading to a BMW only car meet. So it's gonna be nice to have a group of M's with us. I think we're meeting up with more M cars on the way or when we get to the meet. So we're starting these things up, we're gonna get on the road. So we get a closer look at these cars on the road. We got Kevin's M4 GTS. continue on with today's video we get to thank the sponsor which is simply carbon fiber we are super grateful for working with simply carbon fiber for a few years at this point if you guys don't know about simply carbon fiber they offer real and genuine carbon fiber accessories like this beautiful gloss carbon fiber phone case just look closely how good that carbon fiber weave matches the carbon fiber weave on the m4 out of all the phone cases i have this one has completely replaced all of them it's just super lightweight durable and not to mention super sexy as well simply carbon fiber also has other real and genuine carbon fiber accessories like watches sunglasses phone mount wallets money clips and more they're doing their black friday sale and you can get up to 70 percent off and this sale ends on november 23rd so if you guys are interested in simply carbon fiber make sure you use the links in the description for up to 70 percent off for this black friday sale it ends on november 23rd so you guys have a few more days left and with this being said let's continue on with today's video <laughs> great to be back on the road if you guys haven't noticed we've been out of it for two almost three weeks so i just want to go ahead and apologize for the hiatus but i just want to let you guys know i've been working on a couple things that's super exciting i cannot wait to show you guys you guys will have more information on what both of those things are within the next two weeks i'm just going to give you guys a hint one of them is including a new car to the channel um and the other is just you guys are gonna have to see it okay <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I love that Sakir orange. It's a really nice color in the sun. It changes color as soon as it pops out at night. It looks a lot darker. Man, that M8 just looks so nice, dude. Oh my god. Enrique caught up with us randomly on the road. You see, he's got 
a G80 M3 competition. He's got the orange accents on there. Nice exhaust. And here we are at the light, man. Got the GTS. I swear that M8 looks really good with that Vorsteiner kit. section of 2002 old school cars, silver, blue, and a couple black ones over here. I really like this blue one. I think I've seen this before, like a period correct me. This thing looks really nice. We got some G80s. We got the Enrique G80 that pulled up with us on the road. And then we got the M8, Kevin's car. And then we have both our F80s over there. We see some nice couple of G80s right here. I think this is Portimao blue. This one's on back, lower suspension. First, you see the engine bay on this. That's 58. Beautiful, a whole bunch of carbon fiber. Proper spec on the interior, Silverstone bucket seats. Beautiful LED steering wheel as well. Very nice spec. And then over here is a gray or silver G80. Nice wheel setup on it as well. But also look at the exhaust. Kind of M performance style. Stacked quad exhaust tips. Wing on the back. You guys are wondering why I have these in my hand. These are from donuts. They handed out donuts on sticks. So I gotta throw these away. All things considered, this should be one of the biggest BMW meets of the month. So you can see you got BMWs pulling in left and right. Wow, it's all white E90, white wheels, carbon. That's nice. E36, E92, and frozen black. The GTS spec, BBS wheels, carbon wing. Beautiful spec on that. But you can see we have a whole bunch of M cars over here. We're gonna check these things out up close. They're kind of setting up a photo shoot opportunity. So they got the drone popping. You're getting the epic photos. Nice setup. This is nice. It's like a police spec officer car for an E30 wide body kit. Got the red and blues on top and everything. Oh, f 80 z 92s E36 over there in the car yellow. Clean 2002 pulling in as well. So now we're going to take a closer look at the E30 wide body kit. I'm not sure which kit. I'm guessing Pandem just by the look of it. Look at these deep dish wheels. The heritage badges look really nice on that. California Highway Patrol kind of livery. Bucket seats, roll cage, harnesses. It's even a walkie-talkie, extended shift knob. And there's handcuffs hanging down from the mirror. This is really nice. See the lights on the top. Nice baby blue M2. Love the color on that. These cars have been growing on me more and more for the rear end. I mean, just look at this. It's got a ski box on the top, extra cargo space. Beautiful car in black. Very cool spec. You can see what I mean. The F87 is much better than the G87, in my opinion. It's just a different look. These are more round. Red. E90 M3 with BBSs on. I think it's Hellrot Red. Japan Red, maybe. Gorgeous. He's even got it super clean right now. V10 M5. Also, look at the purple on this F82 M4. Beautiful wheel setup. Nice contrast with the HREs. On that purple paint, we've got another, it's like a darker green on the F82. Now this is a blast from the past. V10 M6, we had one of these in Alpine white. Nice to see it in carbon black. Super dark, almost black color, but has a little bit of hidden blue in it. Dining, I'm sure this thing sounds proper. A molar red on the F80 M3, lowered, looking good. But 
do. This black E92 M3 is clean. The BBS is on it. Looks spectacular with that black paint. I even like the headlights he's added to this. F80 in a similar spec. Bulk wheels on it. CS hood, nice. There goes that Laguna Seca Blue M4 we were with on uh, the rally, BH2 rally. That was a lot of fun. Dakar yellow E36 M3. Same color as our M Roadster back home in Michigan. Beautiful spec with the BBS wheels. You know it's a manual. Gorgeous car. Also has a spoiler on it. I think this is a Storo Blue uh, Coupe. So you got the sedan, Coupe. And then here we have the Adro front end bumper replacement on the G82. What do you guys think about it? I like it in the darker colors, but when you see it without the full, you know, modifications, it's kind of just the bumper. I don't know how to feel about it. Like there's too much space right here on the hood. You also see it from the side. It's pretty flat as well. It's like the CSL duck spoiler reminiscent from the E46 but just look at the exhaust tips on this thing what is that like four and a half maybe five inch exhaust tips and this is actually what started the BMW love in our family my father and my mother got an E36 M3 back when they were new Alpine white looked exactly like this except it had a custom spoiler kind of like on that yellow one you see over there kind of like the GT spoiler Nevertheless, nice to see one, very reminiscent of my childhood. It's pretty wild to see the G87 next to an E92. I mean, the styling on this car was just impeccable, especially with that front kind of like GT3 splitter this thing has, but you can see how boxy this thing is coming from factory. Granted, we've seen a few modified versions of this car up at Beamer Invasion, same color and everything. Had the nice body kit, had the wing wheels. So they really can look proper. So you're gonna have to do some things to out the box. I just don't know, especially compared to like E36, E92. I don't know, man. The front is definitely not doing it for me. The back, honestly, I like more. You got all these BMWs, M cars, and then randomly is just a nice little Aston Martin four door repeat S. Sedan of the Aston Martin. It's actually a pretty rare car. E92. That might be a uh, mineral white. E92, my color. R is beautiful, supercharged E46 M3. His wife's E92 M3 right here as well. Got the nice wheels, but the interior he's done Recaro buckets painted to match the rest of the interior red. Six speed manual. Just a very, very clean car. And speaking of that generation, there goes uh, the M Roadster from the E36 generation. Oh, sorry, M Coupe from the E36 generation. I'm all red on this one. You don't often see them in this color. Beautiful. Got the wheels on it. There's another clean E36 M3 in a gray. I don't know if I've ever seen one in this color gray. BBS wheels. It's got that wing I was talking about earlier. This is a class E34 M5 and Alpine white. Beautiful car. Dying and badged up. Got some E92 M3 with a nice exhaust. This thing was barking coming in. Another E90 M3. Sheesh. But look at this one. Kind of like a GT3 spec, huge wing, a lot of downforce, VBS wheels. That's a nice squad pulling in. I mean, there's a lot of clean cars at today's event. We got some also track builds as well. GT3 cars with big spoilers and aerodynamics on the car. A lot of BBS wheels as well. Classics E39s, got M Roadsters, M Coupes, 2002s, M8s, F90s. Look, even more BMWs pulling in as we speak. Got a couple of M2s, and a white one, and then we have, I think that's Long Beach Blue, if I'm not mistaken. And then we even have the non-M cars as well, M340, saw 440 earlier. Got the whole family inside the wagon, E39. Nice color on it, so I forget the name of it, but M Parallels and Chrome. Damn, we're gonna take a blue. That color is nice, too. <laughs> We get to check out these M Coupes up close in the flesh. Laguna Seca Blue on this one is very nice, but whatever color this is, is beautiful on this car. If you guys know the name of this color, it's kind of like a, maybe like a chalky olive shade of green. Very nice color. I would love to see this on the F80. BBS wheels, exhaust tips poking out in the back. I mean, this is just a beautiful setup. And then we have another E34 M5. Uh, a couple E46s, but there goes the E39 M5 in like a Nardo gray color. Deep dish wheels, it's lower, it's got front lips, even has a carbon fiber trunk as well, diffuser, and some kind of exhaust. You never really see anybody modify these cars, so it's nice to see 
you know, people get, get the, give their own take on the E39 M5. I think it's very nice. Like I mentioned earlier, super clean cars at today's event. We're actually gonna head over to another car meet. I think there's gonna be more exotics and sports cars in that one. So let's go ahead and hop back in the M4 and get on the road. <laughs> See this thing more up close, white on white, black interior as well. But what I like is it is like a frozen white with gloss white wheels. Very nice touch. And over here is a black McLaren 570S carbon kit, carbon hood, gold tint, big wing on it as well. Very nice contrast on this spec. Uh, appears to be a 360 coupe. These are nice. I really like these cars. Uh, very classic, very early 2000s, nostalgic for me. So, also has tint. This one looks like it's getting a wide body kit, 458. All carbon fiber as well. 
to the interior. No glass on this. You can see those seats kind of halfway taken apart. Got the shift lights on the steering wheel. Wow, it's kind of cool to see a car like this halfway done. And then we have a wing sitting here on the stand. So I imagine that's gonna go right on the back. You can see from this angle, this kit's gonna look nice on this car. You see the front splitters on these cars are much more bigger than what you see on the BMWs. They go that far under underneath the car, which is very nice. I think we've seen this car, we've actually driven with this car a few times, but when we did, I think it was red, if I remember correctly. Nevertheless, the car looks really good. We got a couple M's outside, I think from the last meet, E46. Also, this one has the Recaro buckets with the roll cage, LED steering wheel, manual. We have also a nice setup of cars out front, some McLaren 765, I believe. Body kit, full carbon fiber. I think it's a Turbo S, 992. Beautiful spec, chalk gray. And then another McLaren. This one has a full 1016 industry body count. And beautiful blue interior as well. Nice wheels, got the roof scoop. Wow, there's a wing on it too. 720S. That's a nice black wheel. Another clean E39 and 5. This one's all factory. It's got the Euro headlights. It's beautiful Alpine white as well. Gorgeous car. But look at this. Big boy calling in. Orange interior. Very nice. Man, I love these trucks right here. This is a complete other end of the spectrum. 765LT. Neon uh, green. Very nice color. Miami blue 992. Beautiful wheels on it. Hopefully it's a manual. By the way, it looks really good. This is nice. E63S wagon. AMG. SVJ. Nice. And then there's a Pista right here. 488. Wow. Man. I love that speed, man. And the color on this one is really nice. Also lined up down the street. Even a viper right there, that's nice. Man, all the different colors though is pretty cool. This is nice. It appears to be some kind of like blue, similar to Miami blue on the F13 M6 coupe. Love the color combo on that. We got a GTR and we have some more cars pulling in down there. Many supercars are lined up on the street. That is absolutely wild. Just about through it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram at Beamer Fan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.